In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up a Facebook ad. We're gonna walk you through step-by-step step, everything you need to know in order to get your very first Facebook ad set up. This tutorial video is perfect for beginners who are new to the Facebook platform and just need a helping hand in getting started. Hey everyone, it's Stuart here. And last year, I spent over a million dollars on Facebook ads. The Facebook platform is still one of the most powerful ways for you to get new customers. There are still more than 2 billion active and engaged users on the platform. This presents a perfect opportunity for you as a business owner or marketer to get more leads and more sales. Now, just before we get going with today's tutorial video, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and don't forget to tap that bell icon to receive all the Facebook and Instagram tutorials and tips from this channel. And with that out the way, let's get into it. Now it is really easy for a lot of people to get lost in the sea of Facebook advertising options, but in today's video, I'm gonna keep it very, very simple. So to get started with setting up your very first Facebook ad, we first need to set up the Facebook Business Manager where your ad account and your ads will be held. To do that, you just need to go to business.facebook.com forward slash overview. You will then see a screen similar to the one you see now. Scroll down to the create an account. Follow the simple step-by-step -step process to setting up your Facebook Business Manager over here. Once you have set up the basics, you will then be directed to the business settings, which you can always find in the hamburger bar on all tools right over here. If you click business settings, we want to select add accounts and we then want to select create a new account. Once again, follow the simple step-by-step -step process to creating a new ad account. As I've already created the maximum number of ad accounts, I won't be able to create a new one for today's tutorial, but it is a simple, easy process. We then want to navigate through to the ad account which we would like to use. We want to select Open in Ads Manager. So here we are in the Facebook Advertising Manager. And to get started with setting up your very first campaign, you want to navigate over to the left-hand side of the screen where you will see a green Create button. Let's click on that which is then going to open up the different campaign objectives available for you to set up a Facebook ad for. As a beginner, there are two objectives that are the most important, leads and sales. We're going to go down to sales and select that. We're going to then press continue. This is going to bring up two campaign setup options, the Advantage Plus campaign and the manual sales campaign. As this is a beginner's tutorial, we want to empower you to be able to set up any type of Facebook ad in whatever shape or form possible. So we're gonna select manual sales campaign and select continue. What is then going to happen is on the left-hand side, you will see in light green, the new sales campaign which you have just set up. It is a shell and it is not yet complete. But underneath that, you can see the new sales ad set and the actual new sales ad. What we are going to do now is quickly rename the campaign so that it is clear as to what the objective is. You'll see a whole range of things here, special ad categories, campaign details, campaign objectives, A-B test, advantage, campaign budget plus. You don't need to worry about any of these things right now. The only thing you want to be absolutely sure of is that your campaign objective is set to sales. We then want to go down into the ad set and go here. Now, the best way to name your ad set is simply by either the targeting you are using or the countries that you are targeting people in. So in this example, we are going to select New Zealand as the ad set name. Now, the most important thing you can select after that 
is the actual location that you are going to send people to. Now, as this is a beginner's tutorial, we just want to keep it simple. You want to send people to your website to make a purchase on your particular product. Once you've selected website, we can scroll down and we can select the conversion event. We are going to go for purchase because obviously that's the most important thing you can get as an e-commerce advertiser. We scroll down to the budget and schedule. You can enter your daily budget in right over here. In this example, let's select $30 a day and scroll down and we can see the schedule and start date. This is not super important if you're planning to launch the campaign straight away, but if you are running it on a schedule, simply select the start date and you can choose whenabouts you want your campaign to launch and begin. As we scroll down, you will then see the audience targeting section. This is a super cool way for you to reach people that are within your target location or have particular target interests. You can select them based on the location. People living or recently in this location, people traveling, um, people recently in the location, and so on. In this example, let's select people living in this location here in New Zealand. We then want to select people who are in our target age demographic. And as a beginner, I would recommend you keep this age and location targeting as broad as you can. If you know that a person has a specific interest in a particular product, you can target them based on that, which is a really cool feature about Facebook. One recommendation I would always make is that you go after engaged shoppers. It's one of the most simple and effective ways to increase your chances of success on the Facebook advertising platform. As we scroll down, you can select the languages which you are targeting people in, which is important if you are in a country where English is not the primary language. And then you can then select the placements as well. We're going to go into manual placements and we're going to remove a couple of placements which tend to underperform overall on Facebook. And one example of that is the right column ads. Another example is search ads. Now, it's important to remember that selecting manual placements gives you the power to choose where your Facebook ads are shown. If you choose Advantage Plus placements, it could get shown somewhere else where you don't want it to. So selecting manual placements is the way to go. And finally, we come down to the new sales ad. You want to make sure that the Facebook page and Instagram account you are using is the right one for this particular business. In this example, either your business or the business you run ads for. We want to then come down to creative source format and we also want to go up to the ad preview section on the right hand side and check the gray circle so we can see a preview of the ad as it comes up. Now you can then see the ad creative section we've come to after scrolling down a bit. This is where you set up the actual Facebook ad. Let's start with a call to action button. Let's choose something that people who are looking to buy your product or service are interested in, the shop now button. We then want to create a quick headline that will capture people's attention. We then want to enter primary text that people are going to be able to relate to. Once we have done that, we can then add in an image or a video. In this example, let's add in an image. If you haven't yet uploaded any images, you can always select the upload button here and add an image 
from your computer into the media library here. In this example, we already have a couple of images that we can use. So let's select them and press Next. This is really important because it shows you a preview of what the image will look like on the different placements. As you can see here, we have got a great one for feeds and stream ads for videos and reels, instant articles. If we select the crop a little bit, it's good. Now, the stories and reels ones is there is a bit of gray space. And if we want to change that, we can simply select replace and get a vertical picture of the same guy so that it fills up the entire screen. And once we have done that, we can just select next. Now, this is a part which is going to confuse a lot of people. It's the Advantage Plus Creative. The best thing to do here is to just turn everything off initially. So the only thing that's optimized now is music. We just want to turn that off because at the moment, Facebook might just add music onto the image and it may be completely out of line with what we want uh, our ads to look and feel like. So let's turn that off. Let's turn all the optimizations off and just select done. And here you go. Here's a preview of what your ad looks like so far. We can see at the moment that our main primary text is over here, but at the moment we can't yet see the headline underneath it. So let's change that until we can see it. Here we go. You can now see the quality clothing one. And if we go to the share button here, we can share a link with somebody else who may be in the business or um, a colleague of ours who may want to see the ads as well. One of the coolest tools that almost no advertiser uses consistently is the advanced preview button. And what this does is it allows you to have a look at what your ad is going to look like in all of the Facebook advertising formats. It's really, really cool. You can see how it looks on the feeds for Facebook, Instagram, you can see the explore ads, you can see the messenger inbox ads, the business explore, video feeds, marketplace, the list goes on. And if you're happy with all of those formats and all of them look good to you, we can then exit out of that. And now we head towards the final steps of setting up your first Facebook ad. We want to scroll down until we see the destination. In this example, it is the website which you are sending people to. We want to enter the website URL and a big shout out to MKM Originals for allowing me to set up this ad on their account. We want to then scroll down to languages and tracking. You want to select the pixel which you have placed onto your website. Now, for those of you who are new to Facebook and don't yet know what a pixel is, basically it is a piece of code that you put onto your website in order to track exactly what is happening for people who visit your website and engage with your website in certain ways. And it's quite easy to set up the pixel. And the great thing that Facebook has got is it has a lot of partner integrations. So, I'm just coming to an area where there are the different uh, partner integrations. So all of the main website um, builders such as Shopify and WordPress and Wix and Squarespace all have integrations. And it is a very simple process to click on it and follow the steps in order to get the pixel set up on your website. And once all of that is done, you want to just do a final check to make sure that everything's looking good in your ad at the ad level. You want to make sure at the ad set level, you are sending people to the right location. You have the right budget. Your audience targeting is the way you want it. You have got the detail targeting, the languages is set up correctly, and that you are targeting people on placements which are effective. Once that looks good, 
You can then go down to the add level again and then you can then select the publish button. And congratulations, your ad has been published. Your very first Facebook ad is now in review and within 24 hours should get approved and start running to the potential customers out there on Facebook who are looking for your products or services. Just a quick reminder, if you do want professional help with running your Facebook ads, you can always get in touch with me on www.stuartmcadam.com. There's a link to that website in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Once again, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing Facebook and Instagram marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.